Have you ever seen a movie where the hero becomes a genius overnight, thanks to a magic pill or a bolt of lightning? The story always claims they've unlocked 100% of their brain power. This myth, using only 10% of our brains, shows up everywhere, promising hidden superpowers if we just find the secret key. But let's think like scientists. Our brains use about 20% of our body's energy, even though they're only 2% of our weight. Why would evolution waste so much energy on an organ if 90% of it just sat idle? The truth, this is one of science's most persistent myths, a comforting story, but a story nonetheless. The real brain is far more fascinating than any movie myth, so let's leave fiction behind and explore what your brain is truly capable of. If the 10% myth is false, what's really happening in our heads? Brain scans like fMRI and PET show our brains are always active. No dark, unused areas. Every region has a job. The frontal lobe solves problems. The occipital lobe processes vision. The temporal lobes handle language and memory. Even simple tasks light up multiple areas, working together like a team. We don't use every part at once, just like we don't flex every muscle at once. But over a normal day, nearly every part of your brain is in use. Even sleep activates key regions for memory and repair. Damage to any small area can have huge effects, proving every bit matters. Our brains are always working, just not all at the same time. What if you could activate every neuron at once? Movies show this as ultimate power, but reality is chaos, a generalized seizure. Instead of genius, you'd lose control. Your sense is overwhelmed, your body convulsing. The brain is like an orchestra. If every instrument played every note at once, it's just noise. Running the whole brain at full power would drain your energy, overheat your system and cause damage. Our brains evolved to be efficient, activating only what's needed. Genius comes from focus and selective activation, not total overload. The real superpower is the brain's ability to turn things off. Extraordinary abilities exist, but not because people use more of their brains. Memory champions train their brains to connect information in creative ways, like using memory palaces. Savants may have unique wiring, excelling at one skill while struggling with others. These examples show it's not about unlocking unused brain parts, but improving connections and efficiency. Like athletes training muscles, mental athletes train their brains for specific tasks. The secret isn't hidden power, it's practice and adaptation. Our brains are constantly changing, shaped by what we do. This adaptability is the real magic. The real secret is neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to change and grow. Every time you learn or practice, you physically reshape your brain, strengthening connections. Mastering a skill like riding a bike rewires your brain through repetition and challenge. The best way to unlock your potential. Step out of your comfort zone, read, solve puzzles, learn new things, and talk to people with different ideas. Consistent mental exercise builds a stronger, more flexible mind. Forget the 10% myth. Your brain is already fully active and dynamic. The real adventure is shaping and training the amazing organ you already have. Stay curious. Keep learning, and you'll unlock more than any movie ever promised.